It's up to you what kind of videos you're going to make for YouTube. But if we can give you one word of advice, pick something that you're really interested in. Otherwise, you're not going to keep creating the content that you need to have to attract an audience. Here are our five tips on how to choose what kind of videos you should be making for YouTube this year. You're watching travelvids.tv. Tip number one, be yourself. People are often just looking for topics that will attract views for the sake of it. Looking up popular video categories on YouTube is definitely one way to start. You can see where you slot in in the YouTube world. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. It's about finding that balance between something that people want to watch and filling that little spot in your heart that makes you happy and that will prompt you to invest more time in making videos. If you can speak freely on a subject that you really love, then you know that you're heading in the right direction. Do I go this way? As the internet is absolutely exploding with new content every day, people are also getting hungry for original passion and precision to the content that they're looking for. The most important reason you want to be working on something that is dear to you is not actually because people want to see your passion. I mean, it would be awesome if the world saw raw passion and then just threw money at it. Shut up and take my money! It doesn't work that way. And especially not on YouTube. You are competing here with millions of other creatives, all hustling for that top spot in the keyword searches that match the same content as your video. So now again, why is it important that you are passionate? Well, it's because you need to be able to be inspired to keep going when nobody is watching. Your first hundred subscribers are going to be your mom and your dad and your brother and your uncle and your sister and even your dog. Why are you following me? I'll tell you why. Cause I'm all alone. And the first thousand subscribers are also hell. You'll literally be there standing, talking to a camera to yourself the entire time. But if you are not entertained by yourself, you're not going to carry on. Because only after a thousand people subscribe to you, they're going to start listening to what you're saying. And now, at least you've had the time to practice. This is what you're going to need to perfect your style. And this is something that we will talk about in the next video. So definitely stay till the end of this video and see the link to episode number two. Let's go on to tip number two. Practice makes Perfect. Well, it doesn't make you perfect, but it definitely makes you better. I mentioned that your first thousand subscribers are going to be your practice round. And this is to figure out your gear, your style, yourself. But you can fast track this process, and this is a little trick. It's called talking to yourself in the mirror. You have to do this every day. I mean, singers sing in a shower, so why shouldn't you stand in front of the mirror after brushing your teeth and just talk to yourself a little bit? Oh, God. This was your idea, George. It's a good idea, right? It's a good idea. It will help you see what you don't like about the way you speak. Maybe it's the speed, the tone, the choice of your words. Obviously, not everybody wants to be on camera or use their voice for that matter. But you will see in tip four that the most popular YouTube categories at the moment all involve an element of you. It's called YouTube for a reason. If you are purely into creating films, then you're probably going to do better on Vimeo, despite it having a smaller audience. YouTube is a machine built for the constant flow of content. Tube is a way of saying television. So it's you television. So you must keep working on the you part. Tip number three, keep your content simple. Try to keep your content simple in the beginning. This allows you to evolve your videos into more complex stories and edits later. If you raise the bar too high too early, you might be forced to start dropping your standards as you keep going on. You should always try to improve the quality over time 
So definitely start simple. In the beginning, a short two to three minute video with absolute minimal editing, like a talking head, something you're watching me do right now, is all that you need. And by the time you have your thousand subscribers, you'll be doing stuff out in the field with cool editing tricks. So I'm gonna have to do a tilt from the bottom to the top. There's one specific tip I wanna give you about tilting, which works for panning as well. But I'll do that when we get there. But you have to build up momentum, confidence, and also the expectation, not only of yourself, but also from your audience to keep improving. So start somewhere here, not here. It's also important to try and stay within the lines of one YouTube category. Choose one interest that you can connect with. So here are some of the most popular YouTube categories on YouTube from the last few years. Tip number four, choosing one YouTube category. All right, so this is probably the reason you're watching this video in the first place. Let's look at the categories on YouTube that are doing well. If you see yourself aligning your interest with something on this list, you are likely to do well on YouTube fast. Two notes before we get started with the list. One, you can obviously do more than one type of video on your channel. Some people have Review Tuesdays and Tech Wednesdays and Throwback Thursdays and How To Fridays. But like I said, stick to one in the beginning, get it right, practice it, do it three or four or as many times as it takes to start getting a look and feel that you can replicate, a channel that people can subscribe to and know what to expect. And point number two, a video category does not imply style. It is very important to differentiate the two. We are going to do style in the next video, but here is a quick insight anyway. Style is how you present your video. An unboxing video, for example, can be done with lots of info and helpful advice, but it can also be done in a completely comical way. A funny video is as powerful as an informative video. You could even do a sing-song musical version of an unboxing video or an unboxing a product. The point is that there are many different video styles for any one given YouTube category. All right, let's do the top 10 popular YouTube categories and they are not in any particular order. Number one, the personal vlog. Capture or recall memories or experiences in your life. These experiences should also resonate with people. If you have a specific hobby or thing that you like to do often, this could be a theme for you. Perhaps it's surfing, like a vlog like Ben Gravy, or a filmmaker's journal like Dan Mace, or a travel vlog like Fun for Louis. Note that all three of these have an element or a theme of something that they are passionate about. Reviews. Reviews is another broad term that encompasses many themes. You could do a review of products or services or restaurants or movies. I mean, there's literally an unlimited amount of things that you can review. To gain an audience specifically interested in what you have to offer, you need to appeal to them. Be careful of not picking too many things though. Try and keep to one theme or one subject. So unboxing videos are a type of review. This is a review where you are having the first look at a product. Haul videos are even under this category of review. And if you don't know what a haul video is, don't worry. Neither did I till quite recently. So today I just thought I'd do a quick uh, swimwear haul for you. Oh my God. The whole underboob thing. I mean, you probably can't tell I'm doing the underboob thing because I... Tutorials, the category of how to. When you know something more than somebody else, you can share your knowledge with them. Like I am now teaching you a little bit more about YouTube. Start with your collar up and the tie around your neck. If you're right-handed, hold the wide end in your right hand and the narrow end in your left hand. Gig guides and event notifications. Perhaps you want to be a trustworthy source of information of what people can do. This is a way that you can definitely gain a following fast for a specific area. You can also serve a more specific interest like gaming tournaments or sporting events or even upcoming movies. 
There's a lot to look forward to at the box office in the coming year. From superhero action thrillers to down-to-earth dramas and everything in between, here are all the movies that will blow you away in 2019. Activism. This is the modern-day journalism. This is when you take on topics like politics or economics or whatever else the news would generally report on. It's your take on the subject. This has become very popular in South Africa at the moment with people like Ronaldo Hoes who pick up on sort of political touchy points and attempt to give an unbiased view on the subject. People absolutely love this stuff. But also be prepared for the comment wars. They, they follow pretty quickly. You can also use this category to be a tabloid style or celebrity gossip channel. Paris Hilton is the queen of the 2000s. The outfits she wore 10 years ago are what is trending amongst our favorite celebrities nowadays. Another category which is incredibly and somewhat surprisingly popular are animal videos. People build a fan base on their cute, adorable, funny and or absolutely hideous pets. Denver the Guilty Dog was one of these and it, that channel had a massive following. Denver, did you do this? Look at me. Come here. Let me see. Rest in peace, Denver. Another strange topic, well, for me anyway, are reaction videos. This is when people sit back and film themselves reacting to other videos. So they, they, he's a hunter and they flew him in to kill these crocodiles for them. Really? This is, it's crazy. I mean, look at that. Can you imagine you're living right there? Reaction video creators usually gain a following because they're either very witty or fun to watch. Isn't that more than 500 people lose their lives every year? What? Hippopotamuses equal them in this scary competition. You know who I blame for that? Madagascar. Even I thought Moto Moto was cute. Madagascar makes Americans want to pet hippos and elephants. That's scientifically proven almost as much as it's been proven that it's a bad idea to pet hippos and elephants. But you can also use this category to educate people. We did a whole series of taking amateur films in the travel video category and reacted to them then also followed up with giving them advice on what they could do better in the next video or also what they did well. I really like the cutaways that you have like the bird but then once again like two of the other shots before this one goes on for just a little bit too long. I, I, I think I'll stop there for a second and explain what I mean. Like with that driving shot at the intro, same with the... Ultimately this category is a type of review but because it is so hugely popular I'm going to give it a category of its own. The video game category. I am not going to profess to know too much about this world. There is so much information and other than there's different types of gaming videos like walkthroughs or backstories and fan stuff and so on exactly. Someone out there please educate me. I killed myself! No, Next up is info dockies and educationals. There are thousands of channels lining up at the moment to educate you in a YouTube classroom. From science to history to space to animals to technology and so on. There are literally thousands of subjects that you can choose from. Did you hear about the octopus that slipped out of its tank into a drain pipe and made a break for the sea? Or what about the cephalopod that figured out how to open those childproof pill bottles? Which, let's be honest, certain adult humans have a hard time doing sometimes. It's fair to say that octopuses are smart. Educational shows differ from the how-to category in that they are an educational but also entertaining piece of content. How-tos are more like tutorials where they take you through the process of learning something step by step. And the last one on this list, and definitely the least on my list, is pranks and challenges. There are people on YouTube who have bigger careers than I will probably ever have by playing stupid jokes on each other. And these are usually quite rude and crazy and even dangerous. But hey, I guess, who am I to judge them? <laughs> As of this month, 2019, YouTube has actually clamped down on this category. Challenges are by nature dangerous and they do not want to be promoting this.
There isn't a week that goes by that there isn't someone trying a new internet challenge. And with so many trying their hand at these fads, there are times things don't go as planned. From using a car as a surfboard to trying to eat corn from a spinning drill, there's no shortage of dumb internet challenges and people willing to do them. The majority of videos on YouTube all fall under the first three categories. At some point, people just start merging and evolving across the lines as they become more well known. But if you're starting out, stick to one, pick just one category. Tip number five, welcome your haters because they are your best critics. YouTube can be a cruel and horrible place, but it can also be ideal for learning. From the get go, start building a thick skin for your future because someone out there is going to absolutely hate you. And they're going to hate you for the most stupid reasons. And then some people are going to hate you for where it actually hurts. Like, your audio is so I can't watch your you should die. Apart from your, your audio is so they can keep the rest. But maybe, just maybe, they were right about improving your sound. Be prepared for the onslaught and even welcome it because you will learn from the rampant criticism and people that send you hate comments are often also responsible for causing such a stir that others will come to your defense, ultimately pushing the engagement ranking of your video up. Sadly, one of our highest viewed videos on YouTube is based on negativity, but hey, it hasn't hurt me. In closing and in summary, Remember these two things. Done is better than perfect. Put your content out there even if you are not entirely happy. Let the haters hate and you just focus on improving over time. And secondly, subscribe to our channel and give us feedback on what else you want to know. If you want to learn more on the topic of YouTube, then subscribe right now, hit the notification and watch the second part of this tutorial on the subject, YouTube. In the link here, make some space. What style should you use for your YouTube channel? Thanks for watching. You're watching TravelVids.tv and we'll see you in the next one.